Jess. Love you, Jess. Loves you. <clears throat> so Christianity, Christianity is the only religion where our death penalty is paid. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So the wages of sin is death. So we're all sinners, so we all have to die. But the free gift of God is eternal life, forever life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. So if we give our life to Jesus, if we're, if we're in Jesus, Jesus in us, we have everlasting life, knowing Jesus is eternal life. So Christianity is the only religion that somebody paid the death penalty for us. God paid the death penalty for us for our sin and rose from the dead. He conquered our death penalty. He conquered sin. And we have to give our life to Jesus, repent of our sin, and believe in Jesus and that's just give Jesus I give you everything I give you control of my life and he'll forgive you clean you up and give you the holy spirit Jonathan Edwards he was uh part of the great awakening but uh he's a famous preacher Jonathan Edwards one of one probably the most famous sermon outside the bible sinners in the hands of an angry god Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, Jonathan Edwards, talks about us going to hell and how horrible it is. But he also has other sermons, like one is Luke sixteen sixteen from the Bible. Obviously, the Bible is the best sermon, sermons. But Luke sixteen sixteen from the Bible, it says, people are pressing into the kingdom of God People are pressing into the kingdom of God, which basically that echoes what Jesus said is ask and you'll receive, seek and you'll find, knock and the door will be opened unto you. Strive to enter through the narrow gate for many will try and won't be able to. So ask, seek, knock, strive, do what you need to do, get rid of sin, follow Jesus, make yourself ready for salvation, if you can give your life to Jesus now, obviously today is the day of salvation. So we're supposed to, if we're the wrong kind of soil, we try to become the right kind of soil so that God can grow in us. That, that was probably weird, but whatever. But anyways, so strive to enter through the narrow gate for many will try and won't be able to. But the Bible promises You'll find me when you seek me, when you seek for me with all your heart and don't give up. So the Bible promises, if you seek with all your heart and don't give up, you will find God. You will find salvation. And it's like an atom bomb going off. When you get saved, you'll know, like, God lives in me. I'm saved. Me and God are okay. Like, me and God are friends. God's my master. So anyways, Jonathan Edwards, pressing into the kingdom of God, Luke sixteen sixteen. you press into the kingdom of God, you seek after it with all your heart. Then he has another sermon. Uh, I have his best sermons are under my Christian salvation preaching playlist. Not Joseph Zeiss salvation preaching, but Christian salvation preaching. Christian salvation preaching. Look at my playlist. It's got like his best sermons. And another one is the possibility of being saved is better than being damned. Like the possibility of being saved. So we have a possibility of being saved if we seek after God with all our heart and don't give up. So we have the possibility of being saved. So we need to ask, seek, knock, strive press into because we it's possible for us to be saved so once once we're dead it's all over so right now today is the day of salvation and i think that has two meanings give your life to jesus today and if you can't do it 
when tomorrow, if tomorrow comes, if tomorrow comes, today is the day of salvation. So a constant seeking until you find Jesus and give your life to Jesus. So, uh, um, what was I going to say? So, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> so, but yeah, give your life to Jesus. If it doesn't work, keep trying and ask, seek, knock, and have, uh, <laughs> have a godly great day. And the book of Psalms is amazing. It's really helpful and encouraging. And the New Testament, obviously, is encouraging. And uh, the New Testament is more about salvation. So, ha, um, <laughs> have a godly great day. And keep seeking Jesus with all your heart. Nothing matters but Jesus. And when nothing matters but Jesus, all the other priorities line up. Love you, Jesus loves you. Have a godly great day, Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you, Jesus.